Hey there, check it out. I have this sprite that is going to chase after my player, and when the player then kills this sprite, I want it to play a sort of death or dying animation and then stop. And let's go ahead and check out that animation really quickly. So we have this moving animation, and then we have this dead animation that should play just once. So the slime kind of falls apart there, and then it should stop on this last frame. So we're going to check five or six times that when we select this dead um, animation, that loop is unchecked, which you've probably already done a bunch. And the reason why you're watching this video is that your animation is continuing to loop, even though you're extra, extra sure that loop is unchecked. Maybe you even checked loop and then set the repeat frame to be the last frame of the animation to create some sort of fake stopping of the animation. But let's do it the right way. Let's go ahead and make sure that loop is unchecked, which it probably was if you're watching this video. And so there we go. We have dead selected. Loop is 100% unchecked. And so that animation is only going to play once when we switch to it. And so there we go. We switch to the dead animation. But as you can see, it is set to not loop, and yet it's still looping. And so you might think that that's a bug in construct, but it's not. Let's take a look at why it's happening and how to fix it. So we're going to go ahead and head over to the event sheet and then go down to the block of instructions where that animation is set. And you can see right here, we check to see if the slime's health is less than or equal to zero, which indicates that it is no longer living. And then the first thing we do is we set a Boolean flag that I created to is dead um, to true. And then the very next thing we do is we set the animation to dead and to play from the beginning. And then because you saw that the dead animation is not looping, it should just play once. So why is it playing more than one time? Or why is it looping even when the looping value is set to false? And that is because this entire block here is being evaluated on every frame to see if it's true. And while it's true, while health is less than or equal to zero, these things happen all the time. So on every frame, set is dead is being set to true. Uh, the animation dead is then being queued up and played from the beginning. And then all this other stuff is happening. And it's happening over and over again, which creates a non-looping animation appear to be looping. So how do you fix it? So what we want to have happen is we want, and what we thought was gonna happen was that this block of instructions was only gonna be evaluated once, but it's not. It's evaluated all the time. So to get it to be evaluated once, we go over here and we select add, add another condition, and then construct has a handy dandy built-in condition called trigger once. Trigger once while true tells this block of code to only evaluate itself once the first time it's true. After that, it stops running this set of instructions over and over again. The only thing you need to make sure is that you really do only need this block of code to be ran once and that trigger once, this condition right here, is the last condition if you have a set or stack of conditions right here. So just make sure it's the last one. And now you can see we go back to our animation that is not looping. We go ahead once more and vanquish the slime and the animation doesn't loop. But real quick, let's look at one more way that we could take care of that problem, especially since I already created this is dead instance variable. It's a variable that belongs to just this instance of this slime. So we're gonna go ahead and not open up the animations, but we're gonna go ahead and head over to the event sheet one more time. This time I'm gonna delete trigger once, which is weird because I just told you that solved the problem, but we're gonna look at a different way to solve the same problem, which would be to check whether or not that is dead flag or that is dead Boolean is not set. If it's not set, then we can run this, then we'll set it to true, and then it won't run anymore. So let's go ahead and set that up with add, add another condition, and we wanna check an instance variable, so we're gonna select the object that has the variable on it. So we'll go ahead and search for Boolean and then choose is Boolean instance variable set, which variable do we wanna check? Mine's called is dead, and then we'll hit done. So with that addition, this block of instructions will run anytime health is less than or equal to zero and the instance variable on the slime character, which is called is dead, is set to true. But we don't want it to run when is dead is equal to true because that would mean the slime is already dead. We want it to run only when is dead is equal to false. So when health is zero and is dead is equal to false, which means we haven't flagged it as dead yet, it'll run through this, it will set it as true, it will set is dead as true, which will prevent it from running again. So in order to switch this from checking if is dead equals true to checking if is dead equals false. Boy, I've said the word dead a lot in this video. We just right click on that condition and we choose the invert there. So the X means we're checking to see that is dead is false or not is dead. So now this block of instructions run when health is less than or equal to zero and is dead is set to false. The very first thing we do is set is dead equal to true, which prevents this condition from matching and therefore stopping this block of instructions from running any further. Let's go ahead and check and make sure that it works, not by clicking on that, by clicking on the layout. And we'll go ahead and for the thrice time, 
end that little slime's life, and also end this video. Thanks for watching. If you want to see more quick game dev tutorials using Construct and other drag and drop event-based builders, like and subscribe. Let me know what you thought in the comments below.